Okay, this is how to connect up to your throttle positioning sensor. Uh, I had some problems with uh, the bike starting and a lot of problems with the fuel injection systems where they say the throttle positioning sensor causes problems. Uh, quite expensive to get into the garage or your KTM dealership. So I've worked out where it connects up to the ECU under the seat. So you can just unplug the ECU and look at the plug as you can see in some of my other videos. Uh, what you can see here is this is the TPS on the side of the carb and this is the wire in loom that comes out I'll chase this back. Uh, this yellow wire comes up to here to the fifth pin from this end This is the feedback from the TPS On this side we've got the the ground which is the black wire which comes up to the sixth pin on the top row in from the end this is your naught volts and here this is the blue wire from the TPS to the sixth pin in from this end inwards and this is the uh, 5 volt supply uh, as you can see down here what you need to do is to be able to read the voltage, we have to supply voltage to the TPS first. So we have a 5 volt power supply here. I actually just used an old phone charger that was 5 volt DC, cut the lead off. And what you need to do is you need to supply the plus 5 volts into this pin. This feeds then to the TPS. We also need the ground supply, so the zero volts of your five volt supply need to be connected to the six pin in here. That's your supply to the TPS. When you turn the throttle, it then gives you a feedback out on this yellow wire. To be able to read what voltage is coming out and what your setting is, is just use a standard multimeter set to voltage DC and connect the ground side, your naught volts, into the same naught volt side of your 5 volt power supply and to read the feedback that's coming from the TPS connect your positive lead, your red, into this pin here um, I just put a couple of pieces of solder into the top of the pins and it seems to work fine. You can then undo your torque screw and adjust to 0.601 is the rough setting that I've managed to find. There's not much information on the net of how this works, but I've managed to go through and chase the wire and loom back. Uh, this is the top side from the plug. You'll see in the videos of how it works. Uh, setting this to 0.601 seems to work fine on the bikes. If it's too much above, you get too much fuel. If it's too less, you get not enough fuel. I hope this helps everyone out there that's suffering with TPS problems. If you connect it up and you can see the voltage will go up and down as you twist your throttle, uh, that means your TPS is working and maybe the fault somewhere else like your fuel pump or uh, maybe your coil pack or, or, or some other issue, maybe even the main ECU unit has a problem. hope this helps, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.